welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. Um, I hope you find that the sound volume is better. I've been spending a, a little bit of time tweaking it, and I finally figured out what buttons, uh, I mean, what options do what, and I figured out what, what sound uh, to change for, like, the door and stuff. So that should be much better. I hope I didn't just blow up somebody's eardrums, but anyways. What we're going to do today is we are going out into the wilderness. We're going to start the episode by having an adventure. I need wood because I'm going to make a uh, the wood vault. down. It's going to be my first room down in my new storage area. It's going to be the wood vault. I know that cabin was supposed to have been my like wood storage area, but... I don't know, I may still keep some wood in there, but for the most part, I'm going to keep it, like, down in the storage room. But we'll get to that a little later. And I'm going to cut a lot of this journey out. I'm just going to, you know, every once in a while, uh, start recording again so you guys can see where I'm at, how far I've gone, and stuff like that. Because, uh, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm in need of wood, and um, my tree farm's just not cutting it. So I'm going to just completely fill my inventory with various types of woods. And it's going to be, you know, the beginning of my storage room. You know, I need wood in my storage room. So that's what we're doing. So uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. So, I ran across an ice spike biome in my journeys here. So these are very rare, and I'm always excited when I find one. I do not believe that this is the ice spike biome that uh, that is near the jungle, the one that I have in my coordinates down below. I did make note of these coordinates of this one. I believe this is a completely different one. So actually, I think, I think if I remember, I found a second one already. And one of my other journeys, uh, I tend to go out several thousands of blocks 
and yeah, it's nighttime now. Uh, on, on these adventure journeys, and I remember finding a really small one that wasn't connected to the jungle. It was a different one than the original one. This one is can't tell how big it is just yet. It's decently sized though, so it will be another source of packed ice if my original ice spike biome goes kaboop. Preferably, I don't want it full of holes or creatures. Bloody hell. These stupid creepers. They've been trolling me today, I tell you. Of course, traveling at night isn't really the safest thing. There's a nice big spike right there. Yeah, check that bad boy out. But I don't need to collect packed ice at the moment. Oh, rude. Something shot me in the back. What is that? Oh, that's one of those new enemies. Yeah, thanks for blowing up in my face. That, that was really nice. I wanted to get a better look at that uh, skeleton. I forgot they just, they, um, they come out in the cold biomes now. New skeletons. Or is it a new zombie or something? I don't know. I could find another one. That was kind of cool. Seems to be a whole bunch of mobs over here. Is this packed ice or is this... Oh, snap. Jeez, these creepers. They're freaking crazy. Let me see if I can find out what's going on over here. Is that a new one or no? I think that's just a normal skeleton. Man, I got terrible aim. What if they melt the ice since they're on fire? Oh, that's right, this is probably packed ice, they won't melt it. Oh, I think this is one of those new mobs. This guy right here. Go away, spider, nobody wants you. Oh, they're fighting each other. Hit me from the back. This guy's got an enchanted bow. Do they drop? Do they drop spectral arrows? Ooh, they do. They drop the uh, spectre arrows. Or not spectral arrows, but those new arrow types that you can make. What do we got over here? These, I think, are just normal arrows. Alright guy, chill out. I'm trying to get some awesome ammunition here. Let me see if I can just stick up on this guy and Oh man. I don't have much luck here. So we got two arrows with slowness. Man, these mobs are dangerous out here. Check my gear out. I don't want to lose, you know, my gear. Oh, I had slowness. Go so away. Usually those guys are a one-hit kill. Where's the other cool skeletons? I want more of them. Well, I... Come on, just die. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a knockback or something. Oh, geez. Really, dude? Oh, must have stopped snowing. Well, that's about it. <clears throat> I'll keep battling through the night to get more levels. Ooh, uh, I finally found it. I think this is beetroots. I haven't actually gotten any beetroots yet because um, I haven't found a new village yet. But I don't think I've explored this area yet. This is actually a village made out of spruce wood, it looks like. That's pretty cool in itself. But then, pretty sure this is beetroot. 
beat rut C. Yeah. Let's swipe some of this. There we go. I know I don't have any of that yet. So let me put some of this in my inner chest. In case I die, at least I won't lose this stuff. Uh, I guess I can just eat that. Put the Spectra arrows in there. Yeah, and I've gone a little caving. Uh, got some iron here. I haven't been collecting too much coal. I just uh, keep a little bit on me so I can make more torches if I decide to go caving more. I, I primarily was just doing some exploring in the caves for the iron. Let's see, let's see what's in this village. So I got some beetroots. I don't want to take them all, I guess. I'll leave them. Ooh, there's a blacksmith up there. Go check that out. Never know what you can find in there. And it's got these new plath. Oh, plath. That's not even a word. Path blocks. So definitely a new uh, 1.10 generated village. You got anything good to trade? Well, I, could, I really can't afford to give you my coal, buddy. Sorry. What do you got in here? Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Obsidian. Ooh, and a horse saddle. Okay. Definitely want the diamonds. I'll take the obsidian too. Why not? Apples, I guess. Well, I'll loot it all. Why not? Uh, iron booties? At some point, I'm probably going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, I really don't need all of this. Let's get rid of this. Uh, I don't really need that rabbit hide. I don't need that either. Cooked rabbit, I don't need. Well, actually, maybe I'll keep that. Uh, in case my chicken runs out. Where is my chicken, by the way? Oh, it's in my offhand. I was like, where'd all my food go? I know I had some food. That's right, I stuck it in my offhand. Uh, Alright, so we'll throw this, 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 and this in here. And I, I've been keeping some golden apples on me just in case uh, I get into trouble in a fight. And I need a golden apple. Well, that's about it for this village. It's actually pretty small. Not much to it, really. Whoa! Jeez, oh, Pete. Almost dropped, jumped right into that freaking ravine there. Ooh-wee. There's a ravine right through this village. That's interesting. Oh, that's a pretty horse. What is that, like a peach horse? There's actually horses around here. Maybe I'll uh, see if I can find me a horse. Yeah, I'm gonna check out these horses real quick and then maybe I'll get back with you. Well, I found out that this spike biome actually is the same one that I originally found. Uh, so it's not a new spike biome because I found my portal here. But I'm on my way back to main base now. I'm gonna start working on that uh, storage room again. And I'm just going to follow the jungle back. That's how I found this one to begin with. So I'll be back when I get back to headquarters. Well, I made it back to my main base. I'm going to leave him in here with my donkey, I guess. Um, I don't really have anywhere else to keep him at the moment. He's in my cow pen. So I guess this is now the cow pen slash horse and mule bin pen, I guess, whatever. Uh, I'll have to make them in official stables at some point. But now that I'm back, I'm gonna uh, see. I don't think it's night. I don't think I can get rid of this rain. It's been raining like almost the whole time I've been playing today so far. It's constantly raining, snowing, raining, or something. I'm gonna unload my stuff and then I'll get back with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nighttime. Oh well. Alright, I integrated my beets that I found on my trip into my uh, farm here. So now, I used to go wheat, uh, carrots, what was it, wheat? I don't want to pick those things up. I used to go wheat, 
carrots and potatoes, I believe. Now it goes wheat, beets, carrots, and potatoes. So I just added the beets in, in between. And I just tore everything up and, you know, added the extra row in there. So now it works out perfectly, actually. So instead of having four, you know, four sections of each, now I just have three. So, you know, like uh, wheat, beets, carrots, potatoes, wheat, beets, carrots, uh, wheat, beet, carrot, potato. But that should be fine. I was thinking about this uh, storage room. Now I'm thinking now I maybe want to do maybe an underground mall or something like that. So that might be pretty cool. So instead of just making a storage room, making some kind of like underground mall. So as I come down here. So if I want a mall, I would be kind of wanting like a, this could be like the entrance tunnel, maybe, instead, instead of, what's this? Hmm. Like some kind of cave system here. Oh, that's right, there was a cave system here and I left it open for what reason, I don't remember right now. I gotta get some supplies. I'm just gonna seal this up. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe this could be like the entrance tunnel instead of going in here and here like I was originally planning, making rooms on the sides. This could open up uh, into a big chamber here, you know, uh, like a mall, like an underground mall. Of course, now the idea I'm having. Um, this just looks wrong here. It's gonna bother me, I have to fix it. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the, uh, I probably should get some TNT going if I wanna really, you know, do what I'm planning on doing. Cause I'm gonna need quite a bit of room. So, so I'm thinking like you go into this corridor, this is like the entrance corridor. And then, right, maybe like, yeah, I could go in deeper, but uh, like an entrance here, and then it opened up into this huge room. I don't know if you, any of you guys, well, you guys should know what a mall is. You go in, maybe like a water feature in the middle, you know, like a fountain, and then you can have shops around, like, like I'm thinking maybe a circular type of thing, and shops around the edges. Uh, then you have your main floor, and then you can have like two, three, four, five floors with different shops around it with various uh, resources, you know, like one for wood, one for, uh, I don't know, blocks, another for for food, maybe one for redstone, we call it like the tech shop or something. Uh, we have like a butcher shop in there, sells meats, you know, all kinds of stuff, water features, decorations, oh yeah, I think I'm liking that idea, I think I'm going to do that, but first... I'm gonna have to do something else. Um, looks like it's turning night again. Where's my food? Oh, it's in my hand, Bella. Uh, one thing I'm still missing in this world, and I'm really gonna need it if I'm gonna make TNT, because I don't have hardly any TNT, I don't think, is I don't have like any kind of mob spawner or anything like that. So, I don't really have any efficient way of getting gunpowder. Plus, I just go out in the wild and kill creepers, and it takes forever, not to mention it just wrecks havoc on my, wrecks havoc on my um, armor, you know? So, I don't really want to do that. So, let me think. Well, I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to go on YouTube. That's sad. <laughs> Uh, I have to admit, I'm not very creative when it comes to mob farms, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna see what I can come up with for a pretty easy, simple, I just want an easy, simple mob farm, mob grinder, so that I can get some gunpowder. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I guess I'll come back, and then I gotta figure out where I wanna put it. I'm thinking I want this thing to run, like, you know around the main base. I definitely definitely want to put it around the main base somewhere. Um, 
thinking maybe high up in the sky, but then I have like this floating monstrosity up in the sky. I don't know if I like that either. Uh, now I do have the skeleton XP pharma, but that doesn't get me. Yeah, it doesn't get me gunpowder. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. Well, guys, I am back, and I have been watching a few YouTube videos. I have decided on a mob spawner. Um, I'm going to go with a mumbo jumbo design. Uh, there's a few downsides to this. The biggest downside at the moment is I simply do not have the iron I need to make it. I say that as I'm looking at all my iron in this stupid pyramid here. My beacon currently is in possession of just about all my iron. So I'm going to have to have either... I got two choices really. I can dismantle this beacon and build the mob farm right now because I believe I would have enough if I used the iron here or I'm going to have to go strip mining or something to find the iron. So as you can see I do have some but not nearly enough. Um, that's the biggest problem right now that I'm faced with. I just don't have the resources to make the mob farm I want to make. The second thing is, I don't know exactly where to put it. I'm definitely going to want it high up in the sky, so I'm going to have to uh, to scout around. Preferably, I like to build these mob farms around an ocean, you know, above an ocean. Uh, so that way, when I'm building it, if I fall off, I probably won't die if I fall in the water. So that's always beneficial. So, I think I'm going to have to do that next episode. I've got a lot of things I want to do right now in this world. Um, I want to get mending on more of my um, gear as well. See, I only have mending on this one right now. I would love to have like a pick or an axe. Like an axe of doom with mending would just be awesome. But I don't have that. Um, I also... I uh, would like to get my boardwalk started. I know I keep mentioning it, but something else always seems to get in the way. And I'm not really sure how long this episode has been going on. Never really accomplished much today. I kind of sad about that, but you know I did do some adventuring and. and I'm I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished. I got another horse. Uh, I got some beets, so I'm happy about that. So you know, it wasn't like I wasted any time. It just I don't know. I feel I'm kind of unproductive this episode, even though I have been recording for quite some time. Uh, well, actually, I've been playing for quite some time. I haven't been recording for all that time. I've probably been playing for two and a half hours now, but I've only been recording, you know very small segments of that. Another thing is, I wish I could get a villager with the mending book, but so far, I still have not been able to do that. So anyways, off camera, I'm going to get the supplies together for this, uh, this mob farm. And then I'm going to pick, uh, pick a location. And then once I get that picked, I'm going to have to set up a portal to get out to this location. Uh, once I figure out where I'm going to build it. I should probably figure out... I don't know if I should figure that out first or get the resources first. You know, either way, i got to do both. So I guess it doesn't matter which I do first. I don't really want it too far away from here if I can help it. But uh, I need some kind of an ocean. So... That's what I'm going to do, and then at the beginning of the next episode, I should have what I need um, to build it. I should be at the location. I should have the portal already set up. And, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Big plans for this world. I'm going to keep chugging along. Hope you guys, uh, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me do, if anything... Uh, feel free to leave them in, you know, in the comments. But anyways, until uh, next time, adios, bye-bye.